Kiss FM HD2, the new music show with DJ Ski. Yeah, so right now we're going to try out um, something that's supposed to save my life from blue microphones. You know, they make the best microphones in the world, but um, it's the Mikey. It's a little thing that we're going to rip open and uh, attach it. The reason this is going to save my life, they said, I haven't used it, we're going to test it out. It's because on the road, I gotta bring like a computer, bring a full Pro Tools setup, etc., etc., to uh, record interviews. But this thing makes this easy. Plug it in your iPhone. If you have the new ones, it already has a recording, the voice recorder thing built in. It serves as your mic. You just hit record. Now I can record all my radio interviews and drops or whatever I want. All from this mic right here. So we're gonna test it out right here. We got the homie Sebastian coming through and. Um, we're going to use it for KISS FM live on air radio interview from the iPhone, courtesy of Blue Mics. Let's test it out. Mike, let's roll. Ski TV. 1027 KISS FM new music show, DJ Ski. We do like this each and every week. Uh, right now we got a special guest in the building. Uh, my homie Sebastian's up in here. Yo, yo, I'm here, man. I came to the west side to see what y'all was talking about. Yes, yes, you just landed. Where, where were you at before? Uh, I was in Virginia, man. I was down there, you know, finishing up some uh, promotional stuff for my album. But, um, you know, I had to shoot over here see what you guys were talking about. I'm definitely dropping out that single. So, yeah, I started off as a ghostwriter. Then eventually, you know, Tim was like, uh, you know, we need to test you at the mic. You just see where you at on the mic, you know what I mean? You know, I ain't gonna front, I was a little bit shy. You know what I'm saying? What, you know was, what, I'm saying? what was it like the first time the first time you stepped up to from uh, behind the scenes to, to actually hop on and be an artist yourself? It was it was <clears throat> I can say it was I was really nervous for the simple fact of, you know, I'm around I'm not around amateurs, man. I'm around like Tam and and Jay Z, you know, people like that. So was, yeah, so it's like it's real, it's real professional like so yeah. It was, it was, I was really nervous, man, to be honest with you. Like, my first time lying to Mike. Yeah. Well, it, it, it all came together and stuff, too. And now you have a new album that's... Uh, when's the album coming out? Right now, we are not... We, we don't have a date for the album because we're pushing this Wobbly single that we got going on. And um, we got a Wobbly remix coming. And then uh, we're probably going to go ahead and drop that second single, which is probably going to be retro. I know, being related to Timbaland, has it been more... Has it hurt you feel in certain ways, like, where people don't take you as serious, where... You know, it's almost more difficult to break out and where, where people almost discount you before they even hear it. Have you felt like that or is it, is it uh, a it's gift and a curse, right? It's a gift and a curse. I mean, it's a gift of the fact that people will look at you for the fact that you are Timberland's brother and then you got to show and prove after that. Yeah. You know what I mean? The album you've ever worked on, what do you think has been like, like out of all the projects except that whether you've written for or just been around, like what do you think to you is like that's like almost defining or just like the dopest material for you to choose one? Oh, if I had to choose one, it would probably be, I want to say Jay-Z, the Grey cover. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. That was fun, because they was doing stuff that wasn't even out at wow. the time. You know what I mean? Fashion in the building, thank you for stopping through. No problem, anytime. That's what it is. Kiss FM New Music Show, we'll see y'all next week. Go.